New this morning, one of Hollywood's most successful dynamic duos bringing much love back to their hometown. That's right. They call Sacramento home, and our Marcus Allen was at their annual charity event. Mark? As I've done a few times, you know, you've heard the phrase, hooray for Hollywood. Well, I say hooray for Hollywood when it comes in the form of the people you see behind me, Dion Taylor and Roxanne Event. They own the biggest black-owned production house making movies in Hollywood. It's called Hidden Empire, yet they still call Sacramento home and continue year after year to bring it back. Take a look at some of their movies through the years. Meet the Blacks was a huge comedy hit, much of it shot in Granite Bay. Uh, then they had The Intruder with Dennis Quaid shot in Napa. Then they followed that up with Batal that even as recently as a month ago was the number one watch movie on Netflix. Every year they want to do 500 turkeys for 500 families. This is a full dinner setup for 500 families. This year they surpassed that. Uh, at their alma mater, Lauren High School. I caught up with them, starting it off with a group hug. Take a look. Bring it in, group oh, hug. Constant this, supporter. This is such a beautiful thing. How many years have you been doing it, and what does it mean to you to this day? 15 years we've been doing this. And, I mean, listen, when we first started, it was just to try to help a few people. Over the years, it's grown over and over and over again. We've added toys. We've added bikes. We've added gas cards. We've added gift cards. Anything that we can think of to help the people. And it's really everyday working families that just need a little assistance. I don't know, what message do you want to get out there during this time? And if you're in whatever area you are in, if you're in a position to help somebody, do it. it doesn't matter. It, and, and it doesn't have to be, you know, monetarily or physically. But even if you could just give somebody a kind word, I think that's enough. Just help, man. Right now, it's, it's crazy out here. You know what I mean? Mental illness, people going through things, losing their jobs, you know, losing their homes. Um, it's always the hardest time of the year. You know what I mean? It's the time of year when death happens a lot of times. So we just want to make sure, man, you out there, you can do something great and positive. Make sure you do it. Make sure you do it. Two of the kindest people on the planet. I can't confirm that they went to foreign high school. I just know that Roxanne kept saying, you know, it was important for us to bring it back to our neighborhood. So I knew they grew up in and around that area. And I love that they give back year after year. It's called 500 turkeys. But truth be told, they surpassed 1,000 this year. And that doesn't come from, uh, you know, corporate donors. You don't hear me mentioning a bunch of corporate names. It's from them, from their hearts, their way of giving back. Currently, they're working on the Floyd Mayweather biopic. I saw a sample of it. Uh, Walt, I know your deep roots were in sports way back in the day. You are going to love this. Floyd Mayweather, they have thousands of hours. I digress. I'll talk about that. That's an entertainment story down <laughs> oh, the road. Yeah. Back to you. They're probably not lacking for material when they do, if they're doing a Floyd Mayweather movie. Yep. <laughs> a lot to discuss. Yeah, boxers tend to have some interesting backgrounds, and mm -hmm. it's just how deep you want to go into mm -hmm. that. Mike Tyson, excuse me. Um, <laughs> thank you, Marcus.